Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Dave Strong from uh, Schmidt Music, and today we are going to hit our standard of excellence, book one for clarinet. All right. So we're actually going to start reading some music and playing some songs. We've talked about how to put the clarinet together, how to put the reed on there, how to make the first sounds, how to hold it, um, and we'll review that a little bit as we go along. But that is what pages one, two, and three of the book cover. So we're going to look at page four now, where it says for clarinets only. And it talks about a couple of musical things that probably your teacher will cover with you as well. But basically, we're going to learn what a whole note is. That means we're going to play that for four counts. What a whole rest is. That means we're going to not play for four counts. And then we're going to start learning our notes. So remember, we'll be sitting up straight, sitting at the front of our chair here. Good posture. You can breathe better if we're sitting up straight. And we breathe deeply. And you should have your stomach puff out a little bit. If we breathe into our chest, you can hear it sounds a little weaker. So we went... We want a big, strong airstream because clarinet, even though it's not a giant instrument, you want to put a lot of air through it. And so for our first note, E, we're going to want to cover this back hole, not the, not the button there, but the part of the back where there's a little hole and a key. We'll cover that with our thumb. And you want to use kind of this part of your thumb right here, the fleshy, uh, soft part, because that'll actually get in the hole a little bit and plug it. And you need to plug that hole completely or else the note doesn't work. Um, so you don't want to use the tip of your finger or the side or any of that. And then same thing, if we look here, not this key, but the hole right beneath it, there is a key on it, and we'll do that same thing, nice fleshy part of your finger, and we'll pinch between those two. So you've got to pinch, and our hand position is like that. We have to almost think like we're holding a big hot chocolate. We don't want to do this or this, we want it right like that. So we're going to pinch right there with our hands, same thing with my right hand, and that's sitting on the thumb rest. And that's our E. If you get it right, that's what note you should get. Now, if you're not quite plugging the hole, you might get some of that. So just adjust and uh, adjust your fingers until you get a... Now, if you're too tight, you might get a higher note. And if you're too loose, you might not hear anything. So practice a bunch of times until you get that sound. And then once you have that, let's take a look at number one here. E is for excellence. And we're going to play for four beats, rest for four beats, play for four beats, and so on. And I like to count the rests out loud when we're starting. And I will say them with maybe the clarinet out of my mouth. But you can keep clarinet in your mouth and go one, two, three. But uh, keep your embouchure set. Then you don't have to find it again once you've gotten that note. Here we go. Number one. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. And that's the end there. So as it says there, a double bar, that double line at the end means that's the end of your music. So let's take a look at number two, D, D day. So what we'll do there is we're going to add our middle finger to the second hole. Now there's a key up here. That's not what we press. It's actually going to be the hole right there. And if you get that one right, again, if you're not quite covered, you're well, practice until you can get that note. And then let's play number two. No, one, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Now, if you get that kind of crackling that I got there, that just means there's a little condensation in your mouthpiece. You can maybe suck out a little bit and it'll clear or just blow through without tightening your mouth at all, and then it's clear again. So let's move on to number three, double decker, and this is going to be going between our E and our D. One, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. 
Great. So we're going to move on to number four, where we'll learn our C on seesaw here. And all we do with that is we're set, putting down our ring finger on the hole. Now, this one doesn't have a, even a metal key. It just goes right on the hole. So you really want to make sure that you cover that hole. And if you get it right, your C should sound like that. So let's play number four. One, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Done. Cool. Let's move to number five here. We're going to use all three of the notes that we've learned. Uh, and if you need to write in notes as you're learning what they look at, uh, like on the page, or if you need to write in your counting, go ahead and do that. Use pencil so you can erase it later if you want to change anything or take it out of there. But absolutely write stuff in if you need to do that for an hour. And eventually you'll just know it by seeing it. But writing in notes is a great thing to, uh, to be a little help. <clears throat> Here we go. Number five. One, two, ready, play. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. First, two, three, four, and done. Great, so let's play number six, extra practice. So same three notes, just in different orders. So it's a good way to practice reading and playing the different notes and switching between them. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. And done. And one more using those three notes. Uh, Clarinet capers. Let's play it. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. And done. And make sure even if it ends on a rest to count the whole rest, that's just a really good habit to get into. So you're playing the full piece and when you're playing with other people, eventually that might be a place where someone else is playing some stuff. But uh, that gets us to the end of page four. So hopefully all that went well. Feel free to replay through these a bunch and make sure you're really comfortable. And when you are, we're going to move on to page five and that'll be a little bit of fun review of those notes as well. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.